So in this video, I want to go through a slightly more challenging example where I need to write this as a single logarithm. We have 1 fifth times by 3 times by 4 natural log of p plus 1 take away 2 plus 4. And of course, we need to be careful with our brackets. Now, there are a couple of routes you could go down. You could expand out the brackets first and then deal with all the logarithms and do it that way. Um, I am going to deal with the logarithms step by step uh, just for the added practice. Okay, so if you want to go about expanding the brackets first and then dealing with them, you can. Um, but I would also recommend you try and do this step by step as well. Because uh, it's going to help your log laws and also your uh, fractions practice as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by looking at the middle bracket, the 4 natural log of p plus 1, and simplifying that. So I'll keep the 1 fifth and the 3. Bring the 4 up to the power of the log of p, so log p to the 4. And the 1 I'll write as the natural log of e. Then we've got take away 2 and then plus 4. So we have 1 fifth times by 3 lots of. Now we've got the natural log of p to the 4 plus the natural log of e. So using the product rule, I can write that as the natural log of p to the 4 times e. Now we've got this uh, take away 2. So I can remove that bracket, take away 2, and then the plus 4. OK. So now we'll deal with this bracket, bring the 3 up to the power. So we have 1 fifth times by the natural log of p to the 4e, now all cubed. So that would be p to the 12e cubed. Then we're taking away 2, which is the natural log of e squared. And then we've got the plus 4 in the end. Use the quotient rule on those logarithms there. So that would be 1 fifth times the natural log of. So we've got p to the 12 e cubed divided by e squared. So that would be p to the 12 e. And we've got the plus 4 in the end. Bring the 1 fifth up to the power. So the natural log of. Now the 1 fifth will affect both of these. So we'll have p to the 12 fifths e to the 1 fifth. And the 4 I can write as the natural log of e to the 4. So this will be the natural log of p to the 12 fifths. Then I'll have e to the 1 fifth times by e to the 4. So that would be e to the power of 21 fifths. And now we've written it as a single logarithm.